Diabetic foot ulcers are open sores or wounds that occur in approximately 15% of patients with diabetes, typically located on the bottom of the foot. They're a significant complication of diabetes and one of the major reasons for hospitalization among diabetic patients. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, a podiatrist based in Houston with over two decades of experience. Though they look simple, they're not. Each ulcer is a complex mix of issues involving inadequate circulation, nerve damage, and a decreased ability to fight infection. Even with proper treatment, they can take weeks, months, or even longer to heal fully. They're also a leading cause of non-traumatic lower limb amputations. In today's video, we'll discuss in detail about diabetic foot ulcers, including what makes them take so long to heal. Before I do, I want to let you know that I wrote a book all about diabetic foot ulcers. I'd like to send it to you as a gift. Visit www.footulcerbook.com to request your free copy. Also, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find the information they need. Wounds take longer to heal in individuals with diabetes. What's not as easily understood is the intricate process behind this delay. The healing process in diabetics is complex and impacted by multiple factors. High blood sugar levels, which are common in diabetics, cause inflammation and slow the healing process. It also affects your immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off infection. Additionally, Diabetes often results in reduced blood flow, depriving the wound of much needed oxygen and nutrients for repair. Nerve damage, another consequence of diabetes, may limit your ability to feel pain, leading to unnoticed and untreated wounds. Diabetic foot ulcers are open sores or wounds that occur in people with diabetes, usually on the bottom of the foot. Over 15% of diabetics will develop a foot ulcer at some point, and they're a significant cause of hospitalization. A foot ulcer looks like a red crater in the skin, often with a border of thickened callous skin. They can be shallower, deep, small or large, and vary in pain levels. However, because diabetes can cause nerve damage, you may not have any pain at all. It's critical to seek medical help if you notice an ulcer, as they can lead to severe infections or even amputation if left untreated. Understanding the common causes and risk factors for diabetic foot ulcers can help you prevent these frustrating sores. Poorly controlled blood sugar levels can damage your nerves, reducing sensation in your feet. This means you may not notice minor injuries that can develop into ulcers. Also, diabetes often leads to poor circulation, which slows down the healing process and increases the risk of infection. If you're a smoker, your risk is even higher as smoking often affects blood circulation. Other risk factors include kidney disease, obesity, and high cholesterol. Even the shape of your feet matters. Abnormalities like bunions or hammer toes can create pressure points susceptible to ulcers. You're up against quite a challenge when dealing with diabetic foot ulcers. Problems like poor blood circulation, high blood sugar levels affecting healing, and neuropathy reducing sensation can all complicate the healing process. While managing diabetic foot ulcers, you'll likely encounter challenges due to impaired blood circulation. Diabetes often causes peripheral artery disease, or PAD, a condition where the blood vessels in your leg and feet narrow, reducing blood flow to these areas. This limited circulation slows down the healing process, making it harder for your body to repair any existing ulcers. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients, which are critical for wound healing. Without adequate circulation, your foot doesn't receive the necessary components to heal. Additionally, poor circulation compromises your immune response, increasing your risk of infection. So boosting your circulation isn't just about speeding up healing, it's also about preventing further complications. In managing stubborn diabetic foot ulcers, not only do you grapple with blood circulation issues, but high blood sugar levels also present a significant challenge to the healing process. High glucose levels slow down your body's ability to heal by hindering the actions of white blood cells responsible for fighting infection. This makes it harder for your body to defend itself against bacteria. High sugar levels can also cause thickening of your blood vessels, impeding the flow of nutrients and oxygen needed for wound repair. Because of this, keeping your blood sugar within target ranges is essential. 
Not an easy task, but it's a crucial part of managing your diabetic foot ulcers and promoting their healing. Another major hurdle in healing diabetic foot ulcers is neuropathy, which often causes the lack of sensation in your feet. Diabetes can damage your nerves over time, a condition known as peripheral neuropathy. This means you may not feel a minor cut or blister, which can quickly escalate into a serious wound if left untreated. Additionally, the lack of sensation can cause you to unknowingly put pressure on the ulcer, inhibiting the healing process and potentially causing further damage. It's also worth noting that poor circulation, another complication of diabetes, can worsen neuropathy. Because of this, it's important to regularly check your feet for any issues, as neuropathy can mask the pain typically associated with ulcers. Complicating the healing process, infections greatly extend the recovery time of stubborn diabetic foot ulcers. When you have an infection, your body must fight it off while also trying to heal the ulcer. This dual battle is demanding on your body's resources and can slow down the healing process considerably. Infection also increased inflammation and can damage healthy tissue around the ulcer. This not only extends the healing time, but it lead to further complications. Additionally, if the infection spreads to your bloodstream, it becomes a systemic issue that your body has to deal with. In the face of stubborn diabetic foot ulcers, early detection and treatment play an important role in speeding up the healing time and preventing the spread of infection. As soon as you notice any unusual changes in your feet, it's vital to seek medical help. Remember, it's not just about healing, but it's also about preventing further complications. An untreated ulcer can quickly become infected, slowing down healing and even leading to amputation in severe cases. Regular checkups, maintaining good foot hygiene, and immediate treatment can make a significant difference. Most importantly, develop the habit of a nightly self-inspection to detect any issues that might be an early sign of a diabetic foot ulcer forming. Don't underestimate the importance of early action. It's not only about saving your foot, it's about saving the quality of life. In treating stubborn diabetic foot ulcers, we may employ a combination of medical and advanced treatment strategies to promote healing. These strategies involve a structured plan to clean and dress your wound, control infection, and maintain a healthy environment for healing. Regular debridement, the removal of dead tissue, is a key part of this process. We'll also likely use specialized wound dressings, which can keep the wound moist, manage bacteria, and help promote new skin growth. I may also prescribe antibiotics to fight infection. If your diabetic foot ulcers prove particularly stubborn, I might suggest advanced treatment options like hyperbaric oxygen therapy, Vaporox, or the application of skin substitutes. You've seen how the healing process for the diabetic foot ulcer is in a walk in a park, primarily due to various medical and biological factors. I know it's often frustrating, but keep faith in the process and trust the journey. With patience, persistence, and the right care, you'll overcome this. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. Make sure to order my free book about diabetic foot ulcers. I'm happy to send you a free copy as a gift. Visit www.footulcerbook.com to request your copy. The link is in the description. If you have a diabetic foot ulcer that's taking too long to heal, make sure it's being treated properly. Contact our office for an evaluation and we'll do everything possible to help speed the process. The link to request an appointment is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.